<sighs> so, full disclosure, I'm reading off of some notes because I don't want to trip over my words the whole time because I want what I say to be clear. Um, so, yeah, bear with me. We're always going to be poor. Poor and tiny. Controller tape can't explode or become popular. It's antithetical to who we are and what we want. It's something that I've recently come to terms with, and I wrote this sort of video essay about it so that I can watch it later and remind myself of why nobody gives a shit about my YouTube channel. And I know that sounds kind of bummery, but it, it isn't, so just bear with me. Um, as of the recording of this video, it's late 2023, um, September to be precise, um, and our 10th anniversary is in May of 2024. Um, almost 10 years ago, we started Controller Tape um, because we thought we could bring something unique to the Let's Play field that uh, at the time was still young and baby-faced. Markiplier had just started his channel two years or so before us and wouldn't start playing Five Nights at Freddy's, which was the game that arguably blew up his channel um, until we'd been on YouTube for three months. Uh, JonTron had only announced his new channel, Game Grumps, which we clearly ripped off uh, two years before we went live. Um, in 2012, yeah. I mean, it was the heyday of Let's Play channels, and we thought, you know, what if we did that, but we had little animated characters that did stand out. And honestly, it did. We still get occasional feedback that folks miss the old faces that, and, and thought that was really unique. Um, I honestly think that if we'd been able to keep that up, by now we'd probably be fairly successful, but we couldn't. It just took too much time and effort to create a single video. One 20-ish one minute video took 40 to 50 hours to put together. Uh, between between me and Panda, because I had to do all of the, I had to do all of the video editing and the faces, and he had to do all the illustrations that you saw. Um, you know, other channels were doing like a video every day, if not more, and it took us like a week to make each video if we crunched. So we burnt out pretty quick, and the channel kind of languished. You know, we, we, we had other shit to do. Um, and then in early 2016, I moved to Binghamton to be closer to my kids. And that effectively killed the channel. Like, it was too hard. I didn't have a car, so it was too hard for me to get down to hang out with Panda. And it was too difficult to uh, find ways to get the work done. And so that was basically it. Um, then in 2016, I had a mental breakdown that took me out of that nice little apartment that I'd had and landed me back at home here with my folks. And I've been stuck here ever since. And that was when Panda and I decided that we still wanted controller tape to be a thing, but we didn't have what it takes to make videos. Or at least, we didn't have the time to make the videos. I think we had the talent, but... Fortunately, there was a new game in town, and we decided to sit down and try streaming on Twitch. Uh, when we first got started, we were just huddled around an iMac at my desk with a Blue Yeti microphone that we splurged on because it had stereo spread, and we wanted that. Um... And stuff has really changed. If I wasn't afraid that I would ruin my camera, I would swing it around and show you. But we've got some beefy microphones now and, you know, a whole... We've got a couch and these curtainy things and the 
all the mixer stuff down under the couch. It's, it's pretty crazy how far we've come. You know, we've got the gaming PC and the streaming PC, so we're not gaming and streaming on the Mac. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Early on, I don't have this in the notes, so, but early on, when we did finally get a gaming PC, we didn't, uh, we, or we, excuse me, we had a streaming computer and, but we still did all our gaming on the Mac. So in order to do our stream, we had to haul the whole Mac over here and we set it on a bucket right down there and plugged it into the computer that did all the streaming. Um, we, Oh no, we were still streaming from the Mac at that point. And then, and it was just because we had a TV over here and we wanted to play on a TV and not on the little Mac screen. Um, and then eventually we ran HDMI cable all the way across the room so we didn't have to do that anymore. It was, man, it, w it was ghetto garage band streaming. Um, and now we've got We've, over the years, over the course of 10 years, accrued some thousands of dollars of stream equipment. And it hasn't helped us grow at all. So if you're thinking to yourself, hmm, I sure would like a stream setup as nifty as they have, you don't need it. Get, you can get a good mic for 50 bucks, a good webcam for 100 bucks if you splurge, and you'll be fine. So, anyway. See, this is why I wanted to stay on the notes. Because if I go off script, I ramble. So, anyway. So, we did that streaming thing for a good while. We had a good run with a consistent streaming schedule for a few years. And then life stuck its dick in again. And Panda's job started being awful to him and it ate up all his time and energy and I don't want to do this by myself. I can't carry a stream alone. Uh, I can do art streams, sure, but that's a different kind of content. Um, so our schedule just kind of dropped off a cliff again. Um, most recently, we decided to move off of Twitch back to YouTube um, and do our streams right on YouTube. Um, because we think that Twitch doesn't really do a good job of supporting small streamers. YouTube will take your stuff and will put it in front of people. You know, it will be like, hey, you liked this, you might like that, right? Twitch doesn't do that at all. Um, the only way you can grow on Twitch is through things like networking and word of mouth and... We'll come back to that, but I thought maybe YouTube would help us to sidestep that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so there were some other um, there were some other small uh, benefits, but for the most part, it was just because we wanted to see if YouTube would help us grow as a channel. And c kind of, it has. Um, our subscriber count is actually climbing again. I mean, it's always a positive number in the dashboard. We're not losing subscribers, which we were for a while. Uh, you know, slowly, I'd see, you know, negative one, negative two, negative one, which, you know, we're a small channel, you know, huge channels can lose a thousand subscribers and not bad an eye, but you know, uh, for us, one new subscriber is a big deal. So seeing those, you know, dipping subscribers was always kind of a bummer. Um, and now it's growing. So I guess YouTube is actually helping a little bit. Um, but The thing about the growth, why we're never going 
to make it kind of comes back to Twitch, but it I think it's true on YouTube as well. Because there's a game you have to play on both platforms. On YouTube, you have to chase the algorithm. And on Twitch, you have to do the networking. And... There are two issues with that. Um, the first, the first and primary thing is that I don't have any interest in success as defined by our neoliberal capitalist society. Um, I'll say it. I'm a Marxist, probably a communist. I don't know. Nobody's ever ran on the communist ticket so that I could maybe vote for them. But I don't want wealth or fame. I'm not interested in that definition of success. Um, I guess I like to think that I'm a positive influence. And I like to bring that positivity into as many lives as I can. So I guess to some extent fame would help with that. But, like, I don't dream of walking down the street and having people go, Hey, it's that arcane guy. Boy, he's in a lot of weird porn, isn't he? Don't make eye contact, children. Like, that's, that's just not my goal in life. But you can't be successful if you aren't trying to be successful. Opportunity doesn't kick down your door and drag you off. And on that note, even if I did want to achieve those heights of wealth and fame, I don't want to play the shitball that it takes to get there. Um, I don't want to be a disingenuous social blob desperately chasing an algorithm. I don't want to waste my time making garbage for the lowest common denominator. I want to make and do the things that are valuable to me because I'm sure there are other people who think that's valuable too. But that's not what YouTube wants. That's not what Twitch wants. That's not what anybody with a platform to lend us wants. If you go to our Twitch channel and you go back to the VODs from around 2018 or so, you'll see a pair of guys who were absolutely killing themselves trying to make pro-tier stream content with animations and overlays and intros and outros and, and it felt produced and professional. And yeah, there were issues sometimes, but it's always pissed me off when shit like that happens because I want to make something good, damn it. I don't want... I don't want our stuff to look sloppy. I don't want it to seem like we're just... I wanted it to seem like we're making something. And not just doing something. I don't know. It's hard to... I'm a creator. I'm an artist. I'm a musician. I'm an editor. I like to make things, and the stream was something that I was making. It wasn't just, you know, I wasn't just uh, throwing on a game that I was playing and, and chatting. Like, it's always been kind of a show. Um, and even, even at its coziest, which I'll get to, in a, in a second. But even if, at its coziest, it was still something that I was producing. Um, a good parallel, I guess. Excuse me, sorry. Um, a good parallel, I guess, to make would be... Imagine that I want to host a game night for my friends, right? I could just say, hey, come over and we'll play Monopoly or whatever. 
but that's not what I would want to do for my friends. I would want to have a space that's decorated and feels nice and has like a nice table, maybe even a gaming table would be great with lots of games around and and you know, I would want to make it feel like like a special gaming place. Um because that's what I think of when I think of a host. And that's kind of the approach that I've always taken to our stream is that it's not just come over you know, we'll play Monopoly. It's always been, come over, we'll play Dungeons and Dragons. I've got all the miniatures, all of the, I've got the cool table, the dice tower, I've got the whole deal, right? I wanted it, I want it to be special for the people who are watching. So, that's why there's always been that sort of produced feel. To some extent. If you look at our stream now, all that stuff is gone. All that extraneous stuff. The produced feel, I think, is still there. But all of the, like, the subscriber counts and the thanks and the bits and the pop-ups and the intros and the outros, we chucked all of that in the bin. Because for all of that shit, after that first year on Twitch, we didn't grow at all. We got, like, 800 follows in the first year, and then over the next six years, five, six years, something like that. Um, we got like maybe 300. I'm not, I think maybe we have just cleared a thousand or we're close to it. Um, but you know, Twitch, you know, they threw around all this stuff and we won't, we tried doing it, but all that useless clutter, it was maintaining that, making sure that it worked, making sure that all the code worked, it was exhausting, and it just, it detracted from what we wanted the channel to be, which was just hanging out with friends, hosting game night. Me, Panda, some guest hosts sometimes, and just the people who show up and have a good time in chat. You know, even at the very start with the YouTube channel, with the first videos on the YouTube channel, the vibe we aimed for was to hang out with us for a half hour. The whole reason we decided to split the audio between left and right was to make the viewer feel like they were on the couch in between us. That they were hanging out with us. We never wanted this crazy production. Um, at least not for like the basic let's play content. Um, but it felt like when we started streaming, it felt like we had to go that route if we wanted to get anywhere. Um, you know, like I said, Twitch certainly threw all that production shit around enough. Like, oh, we've got channel points now. You, your stream can interact with you. And I was like, I don't, I don't know what to do with that. Um, I have friends who, uh, I have friends who have really made that work for their channels and props to them because I don't know what the hell to do. I think the best one I have on our Twitch channel is that you can make me change what hat I'm wearing. Um, I know Coda, who comes onto our channel as a guest host, uh, I know his, his Twitch channel is amazing in that regard. If you haven't seen it, go, I'll post a link down in the doobly-doo, but, uh, his Twitch channel is great. He plays games and does art and stuff and go watch it. It's a good, it's a good channel. Um, but like, so you can use those channel points pretty well, I guess. But like at one point Twitch was like, oh yeah, you can play tic-tac-toe on the stream now. Ooh, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why? What does this really add to the stream that your viewers are so bored that they want to play tic-tac-toe? But it was just, it was just, I, I, I didn't want to, but I felt like I had to. But I can't play that game. I don't want to play that game. I can't 
jump through their hoops because I don't have it in me to pursue something that I don't want or believe in. I don't want to be a massive YouTuber. I just, I want to make people happy. I don't want millions of subscribers. I wouldn't know what to do with millions of subscribers if I had them. I actually have often uh, worried greatly that someday we might get so big that I couldn't keep up with chat anymore. And it's like, that's the whole reason that, that's the whole reason why we do what we do. Um, so, I just, I like to see some comments that say, hey, that was cool, that was fun, I'm glad to see you're playing this game. Those, those comments make my day. Um, I like to see people in chat who engage with me on stupid conversations and deep conversations. Sometimes we get into pretty, sometimes we get into some pretty heavy stuff, but not in a, not in a, you know, we all get into a big argument way, like in a, like in a deep philosophical way, you know, like what, what kind of shit does this game make you feel, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's a lot, it's, it's a lot of fun. I like doing it. Um, the only reason I want any of our channels to grow is just so I can see new faces and meet new people. Um, you know, we've never, that's okay. That's not true. I was about to say we've never monetized our channel, but that's not true. We did. When we first got partnered on YouTube, we did start to monetize the channel. And then at some point I decided, uh, I changed my mind and decided that if we were going to get any kind of financial support, from our, it, it would be from our viewers, not from, not from ads. Um, I don't like ads. Nobody likes ads. So if you see ads on our channels, it's because we don't have a choice. I think, uh, we don't monetize on YouTube, so you shouldn't see ads on our YouTube channel. And I think on Twitch, you have to watch an ad before any stream starts, but like, we don't do any mid roll ads on our Twitch stream. Um, Fun fact, um, the reason you can, I mentioned we were partnered, the reason you can go to youtube.com slash controller tape uh, is because we used to be partnered, um, but at some point YouTube changed the requirements to be a partner, and we didn't meet those requirements anymore, so we got booted out of the program, and we lost all of the benefits that being partnered uh, provides, except our vanity URL, so hey. That's neat. Um, and to be clear, it's not that I don't want to do work. I've done a lot of work for this channel. All the overlays that I mentioned, thanking the subscribers and the donators and all that shit. I programmed that from scratch. That runs on a web server over there. Um... They, they weren't templates or anything. All the graphic design for the overlays, I did that. All the music that you've heard on the channel, I wrote I wrote that. I set up all of our equipment. I designed the stream environment. I've edited videos both way back in the day. And recently, I streamed four days a week without missing a week for like a solid two years. Maybe three? I don't remember. Time's a blur anymore. We've put work into this channel. Problem is that the kind of work that you have to do to be successful isn't that kind of work. The work that makes you successful, um, I have success in like three or four quotes every time I wrote it in the notes. The work that makes you successful is marketing and networking and branding and just insincere, disingenuous nonsense and just being fake. And for what? So I can say I have a million subscribers or whatever? Who the fuck cares? So I can have a bajillion, so I can get a bajillion dollars from ad revenue or whatever? Who cares? I... I wish that I had the income to be comfortable, but 
I'm not willing to sacrifice my identity or my values to get there. I just want to make people happy. I want to make stuff that I think is good for the world. I know that I haven't always done that. We've been around, we've been streaming since 2017, and there have been some times when I've definitely made some mistakes, um, you know, that thankfully didn't impact us all that much, largely because we're not a huge channel. Um, but, you know, we've talked about them and learned from them and gotten better. Um, I've gotten better at just being positive and I think that that growth has been shared with a lot of the people who have come along this journey with us. Um, I'm not going to name names, but I know a few people who have just absolutely impressed the hell out of me with how much they've grown in in the community and I'm just that's that's what I want to engender that's what I want to make I want to make a space where that kind of thing can happen I want to have a stream where people can hang out and smile and laugh and leave thinking that was a good space I want to be there again and that's not the attitude that YouTube or Twitch or anyone else wants their creators to have. So, if you've been a fan of the channel for a long time, you've probably noticed a turn recently in this direction of not giving a shit about growth and just doing what we want to do, what we think is fun and positive and, and healthy and just a good space. That's a big spoder. He's going to be gone before I can deal with him. So. To that end, we're going to move back to Twitch. Because the main reason we left Twitch was that they weren't helping us grow. There were some bonuses like niftier tech or whatever. YouTube has some cool stuff like you can preview your stream before you go live. That's cool. And there were some concerns about Twitch being awful to their user base, but honestly, that stuff really only affects us if we're trying to get big, and let's be real, everybody's awful to their user base. Excuse me. And we don't need nifty gadgets to put on a fun stream. Uh, I've watched streamers like Carl Sagan 42 who for the longest time... All their channel was, was video, face cam, and that's it. And that was still fun as hell. I loved that when it was that. He's, and it largely it's still the same. All he's done now is he's got like the green screen thing where like he kind of floats over the content, which I guess that's fine. Um, but he really didn't need it. Um, so yeah, we, we don't, we don't need that. Uh, we don't, we don't need crazy stuff. Um, and I think Twitch is just better for that hangout with us vibe. I've been, I've, I've been getting some feedback that YouTube isn't great for watching streams, uh, at least compared to Twitch, you know, I mean, just simple stuff. I miss the emotes guys. And Yeah, it's just Twitch. Is, I think Twitch is just better. So I think we're going to call our, U our time streaming on YouTube as just an elongated experiment that didn't work out. And we're, and we're going to go back to Twitch because it's just a better vibe. Um, we'll still be recording our VODs and then uploading them over here on YouTube. So you won't have to go look at the VODs. On Twitch, if Twitch isn't your thing, they will come over here and they'll be not good, high quality VODs. Um, that was one of the issues that we discovered with YouTube is that we were 
uploading our stream, we were streaming at like really high bit rates, but it was getting down encoded for streaming. And we thought that the high bit rate was what would be in the VOD, but that's not the case. So it's like that, that benefit. Oops, never mind. So we will be, we'll, we'll be recording our VODs and bringing them over here to, uh, to YouTube. So if Twitch isn't your thing, you can still uh, keep up with the VODs here on YouTube. Um, and we will be bringing back edited videos soon. I do enjoy doing that. And I know Power Stone enjoys doing that too. So we'll be, we'll be doing that. We'll, uh, Panda and I both enjoy doing the offline recorded content. Um, and that will be, uh, that will be important to, uh, our channel going forward for reasons that we'll discuss on the channel more soon. We're, we're looking into some stuff that will help us get back to a regular schedule, but I don't want to talk about it in detail just yet because I don't want, uh, I don't want to talk about it just yet. There's, there's some factors in play, but if it works out, Fingers crossed, we should be able to be putting more stuff on a regular schedule to make it easier to watch. So, hopefully. Um, but yeah, just, I enjoy this shit. I enjoy streaming. I enjoy making videos. I, I really like this stuff. It's an excuse to play games. It's an excuse to hang out with Panda um, and my other friends. But I think it's time 10 years in. Like, ten, 10 years in, to come to terms with the fact that what I want out of the channel isn't synonymous with success and just go back to basics and be happy. Um, if you're here because we po finally put up a thumbnail with a human face on it, making the Linus sad face. And YouTube, that was the thumbnail. And YouTube loves to slap that shit in front of everybody. Maybe subscribe? Um, head over to our Twitch channel and give us a follow there. Uh, and stop in and say hi in chat. We'd love to hang out with you. Um, our 10th anniversary is coming up and we've got some a big event that we're working on planning with like lots of uh randomizers with like all of our custom controller tape sprites and models we're working on uh some new ones that you haven't really seen yet uh we're planning like crowd control shenanigans and uh i'm working on uh seeing if we can do a an ocarina of time randomizer where the viewers can join in and play with us um and so we think that'll be a lot of fun. So, you know, follow us and uh, join the Discord. We'll, I'll, I'll have a link to the Discord down in the doobly-doo because that's where we communicate with our community and, you know, announce that our streams are going live, which will be especially important on Twitch because uh, on one of the nice things I think about YouTube was the whole, like, post a stream ahead of time and then you can ask to be notified when it goes live. I, I think that's pretty cool, and Twitch doesn't really do that. So you will want to, if you want to, if you want to know for sure when we go live, you'll want to get in the Discord so you can get those announcements. And if you don't want to, if you don't want to hang out in the Discord and you just want the announcements, you can mute the channel and just set the announcements, uh, and just set the announcements uh, channel to send you notifications. I don't spam stuff in announcements. Um, but yeah, that's the whole deal. That's the whole essay thing. Um, we've gone through a lot of experimentation, uh, a lot of just being fucking lost, and a lot of soul searching. And I think we're at the point now where we can safely say that we know what to do to get to accomplish our various potential goals. Like if we wanted to grow, we know what to do to accomplish that. If, but 
we also, I think, know what it is that we want to do. And what we want to do is just be us. And if the internet wants us, we'll be here. So, you know, something that you can do is because we're not going to be chasing the algorithm and we're not going to be doing all the networking and schmoozing is if you know people who you think would benefit from being a part of our community and from joining our streams and watching our content, um, reach out, tell them about us, invite them to join us uh, on streams. You know, we'd love to say hi, meet new people. So, yeah. So that's the plan moving forward. Um, and that's all I really got to say. So as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. See, just steal an outro. Who the fuck cares? What else are we going to say? Tune in next time. What jackass thought that was a good idea? <laughs>